Do you have tight hips and stiff shoulders? This 20 minute resistance band workout will target your full body, but especially your glutes, your hip flexors and your upper back area. We not only want to strengthen our muscles, we also want to improve our posture and body control. All you need for this workout is a loop resistance band like this. If you only have a longer band, just tie it into a loop and you will be fine. We start off with a warm up, then we have exercises standing and on floor level, so make sure you have something soft beneath you. Get ready to feel the burn because it's gonna get sweaty. Let's have some fun! Let's start with some arm circles. To the beat. It's going to be an awesome sweaty workout. We have eight exercises and we do 50 second work periods. We do circuits of two exercises, two rounds of each. Pull back and step. Squeeze your shoulders together when you pull back. So good to see you here. I'm happy you're taking time to really focus on yourself, on your own well-being. Okay, let's go with squats. Squat down and up. Down and up. Really squeeze those glutes and thighs when you come back up. Also activate your core muscles already at this point. Last one. Twist your body to the right and left. You know this one. We always do this warm-up exercise because we need to give our spine some rotations. Okay, let's do some bent over rows. You squeeze your shoulder blades together. Straighten yourself, and when you bend down, you straighten your arms. Stretching out those hamstrings, and also warming up the shoulders, the glutes, the hips, the back. Pretty much everything. Okay, one more. And finger pumps. Interlace your fingers and twirl your wrists. Shake your arms and legs. Grab some water and then we move on to the exercises. Show me love. Make it change. Time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days Okay. Show me life. Our first two exercises. Put the resistance band around your feet. Okay. Not to round your ankles, but your feet. We start with the right side. We do a combination. First you do a side squat, then you do a leg lift, and then you lift your knee up, okay? Come join me. Three exercises in one. Side squat, leg lift, and knee lift. Working on those glutes and hip flexors. Come on. Focus on keeping your hips pointing forward and your stable leg should be strong here. Sorry, I forgot one. And lift. Yes. Last 
last ones. And lift your knee up. Okay, 10 second transition. Then we do the same exercise with the left side. We start with the side squat. Let's go. Side squat, leg lift and knee lift. Awesome. Side squat, leg lift and knee lift. Keep going. Awesome. You can feel the burn in your glutes. Oof. Just keep going. And last one. Yes. Now we repeat these moves to really get the maximum burn with the right side. Let's go. Side squat, leg lift and knee lift. Keep going. I know you're feeling it. Just keep going. You can do a smaller squat, smaller leg lift, smaller knee lift if you need to. And last ones. Okay. Now, get ready to do this one more time with the left side. Okay, let's go. Side squat, leg lift and knee lift. Side squat, leg lift and knee lift. Keep your core nice and tight. Sorry. <laughs> Your shoulders are down, chest is open. Come on. I know it burns. One more time. But it feels like I'm a ticking bomb. Awesome. Grab the band with your hands and place it around your wrists. Let's go into a bent over position, lift your arms up and you row the band just above your belly button. You squeeze your shoulder blades together and you straighten your arms in the middle. Make sure you Back is straight, even though you're bent over. The resistance band is stretched out the whole time. During the entire exercise. And one more. Yes. Now move the band further down towards your elbows, go into a sumo squat, hold here and open your arms. I know it's a tough one, doesn't have to be a big move, you stay into the sumo squat, you hold it there. Keep going, keep going, don't come up, come on, you can do this, come on, it's a tough one, I know, 
a few seconds. All right. Another round of these exercises. Shake your arms. Put the band around your wrists. Go into a bent over position. Let's go. Row towards your tummy. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Take your time. Exhale when you roll, inhale when you lift your arms up. Come on. One more time. Awesome, shake your arms. And now this tough one. But after this one, we have a water break, a one minute break. So now we can do this. Go into a sumo squat, open your arms. Keep your elbows in 90 degrees. I know it's heavy. Keep going. I am sweating so bad. Let's just keep going. After this we have a break. Don't give up now. Stay into that squat. Three, two, one. That's it. Okay, let's have some water. Shake your arms, breathe in and out. And then we do our following four exercises on floor. Get ready. Okay, now go on the floor and place the band just above your knees, around your thighs. Go lie on your back. Flex your knees very close to your glutes. And from here, you lift your hips up. Then you lift one leg up, the other one up, and come back down again. Hips up. You try to keep your both hips up when you lift your leg. Come on. One more time. Okay. Now, put your knees one on top of the other. Lean on to one side and you start rotating this upper leg up. You open your knee. Open. Using your glute muscle here. Okay, other side, same exercise, knees are on top of each other and you use your glute muscle, you rotate your knee out.
And last one. Awesome. Now we repeat these two exercises. So, back into the glute bridge. And this time around, we lift our hips up and we lift one leg, the other leg, and we stay up and do this again. If you want to do a lighter version, you can put your hips on the mat after this leg lifts and then lift them back up again. But if you want to challenge yourself, do it like this. You keep your hips up. A few more. Awesome. Now, knees on top of each other. You lean on just the side and you start opening or rotating your knee up. Opening your legs. One more time, awesome, other side, the only thing moving is your leg, use your glutes. Two more exercises to go. Now you go on all fours. Put the band around your wrists. And from here, you start to touch the mat like this. Tap with your arms. All right, then next exercise, you go lie on your back, you flex your knees and from here we do some abs. So what you do is you straighten one leg and you move your arms down and back to the center, other leg. You try to keep your lower back on the mat. Your head is on the floor. Take your time here, no rush. And one more time. Awesome. Okay, again, go on all fours. The band is around your wrists and you start tapping, but this time you can tap up and down. So not straight to the side, a little bit up. It's 
like like a diagonal cut. Keep going. I know it burns in your shoulders. Just keep going. We are almost done. Last exercise, abs. Lift your legs up and one leg goes down, arms go down and back. Exhale when you lift your arms and leg up. Also keep your lower back on the mat. Our last exercise. Now give it your all. Come on. Yes. A few more. And that's it. We are done. Thank you so much for joining me for this resistance band workout. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Also proceed to this workout here. I'll see you there. Thank you. Bye bye.